Gulf Shores City Schools will reopen today for the first time since Hurricane Sally. Students have been away from the classroom for two weeks after closing September 4, 14th rather. And Chad Petrie is live from Gulf Shores this morning with details of the schools reopening. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Jessica. I'm standing outside Gulf Shores Elementary School, and uh, it will be a little while before people start getting here. But really, this is an area that was hard hit by the storm. And maybe one of the most important things to remember is that not every student might have the ability to come to school today because they're still dealing with the fallout and disaster recovery right now. School officials saying uh, just a few days ago that if families are still dealing with hurricane related issues, parents can contact the school that they go to, and those absences will be. Be marked as excused. And the storm made landfall in Gulf Shores nearly two weeks ago, and there is still potentially months of cleanup and repairs remaining. They also asked parents to monitor their kids' temperature and watch for any symptoms of COVID 19. A statement from the school district said some students they've sent home for illness this year presented symptoms before arriving at school. They also encourage kids to wear face coverings and avoid close contact and wash hands regularly. Again, this is the first school system in South Baldwin County to reopen. The larger Baldwin County Public School District will be opening as of Wednesday. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.